gentlemen. We have a new project for you this week. We are going to be drawing some animals and we are going to continue with the theme of rainbows and we made a rainbow chameleon. Here's Lily's beautiful chameleon. Good job. And here is my chameleon. All right. You guys are going to need your art book or a paper. You're going to need something to color with. It doesn't have to be crayons. What else could it be? Markers, color pencils. Or even paint. paint. But I don't suggest using paint. And then I want you guys to draw with us in the video. If you need to pause the video because we're going too fast, you can do that as well. And then when the video ends, I want you guys to color. Lots of beautiful colors. Let's go to the studio. Hello. Uh, hey guys, we are here in the studio. All right, we have a piece of paper that we have turned long ways. What else do we have? Eraser, pencil. My mom is using a Sharpie. And some crayons that are my, my sister's school crayons. All right, now Lily, do our friends at home have to use crayons? No. What else could they use? Uh, pencil. Marker, um, you can, but I think it will look better without marker because it's darker and you, I think you will want it to look lighter. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, you can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use color pencils, you can use watercolor paint if you have it. And of course we have an eraser right here. Let's set this stuff aside for now. I'm drawing with a Sharpie so you guys can see better. Lily's drawing with a pencil in case if she needs to erase. You guys at home are drawing with a... Pencil, just like me. All right. I'm not a very, very good drawer, but I get, but I think some of you guys are. <laughs> good. All right, you ready to start drawing a chameleon? Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna pretend like there's a line down the center of our page and a line across our page and everything we draw is going to be here in the middle. All right, so we are going to start off with a um, semicircle and two straight lines. So I like to draw the straight line, curve, and straight line. Now we need to give our little chameleon a body. Curve, do it in a straight line. Here, not all the way at the top. You are gonna have a cute little chameleon. Like a baby one. Alright, let's give him some legs. One leg going back, one leg going forward. Like that. Alright, now let's give him a tail. I like to start with the bottom of the tail. I like to start with the top and go. Get my lines. That chameleon has a very nice tail, Lily. <laughs> All right, let's give our chameleon a cute little eye. And tongue. So like that. And then this small one will be over here like that. And then a nice long tongue that he can get those flies with. See that tiny opening? That's where I'm putting the tongue. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Now let's give our chameleon some stripes that we are going to color with rainbow colors. And after we cover the whole thing, um, we're not going to show you guys the long process of coloring the whole thing um we'll be right back when it's all colored in yep draw your stripes are you ready to add a branch so branch this branch. is like a tree branch that the chameleon's sitting on i like to start it here put it under the feet and then go all the way across. I like to do it here. And then, yep. Can you 
since when it's tiny and you make it tiny line and that one like that great job and then we make the leaf yes let's give him some leaves i'm going to give one long line put a leaf right here have a little leaf coming off of it. It's okay if your leaves are not perfect, like that one right there and that in, in nature, no leaves are perfect. And that's right. Yep. All right, draw as many leaves as you want to, wherever you want to. You do not have to copy our leaves. <laughs> All right, the last step is to give it a sun. You can give it any kind of sun you want to give it. I'm going to draw a cloud and I'm going to put my sun behind the cloud. If you just want to give it a nice big sunshine right here, you can do that as well. All right, Lily, we are now done drawing. What's the next step? Coloring, coloring. All right, my sister's crayons. <laughs> We're gonna use some crayons. You guys use whatever you want. Now remember, this chameleon should be colored what way, Lily? Rainbow. Rainbow. So let's Don't find. Don't color it all green, 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 green. <laughs> Let's find our rainbow colors. Red, orange, yellow, 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 yellow. Want that one? Yeah. We're gonna do bright, um, dark and bright shades. I got light green and dark green. My favorite is the dark and red. And light blue, dark blue, dark mm. blue, purple. And violet. Oh, pink. <laughs> violet. Wait. Between the purple and pink, let's put this one. Okay. So it looks complete. Mm. Um, uh, right. We're ready to color. Yeah. All right. Let's do some fast forwarding. <laughs> We are back with finished papers. All right, we finished up our coloring. My sky goes from dark blue to medium blue to light blue. Your sky can do anything. Lily, what does your sky do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, is that okay? Yeah. But did you have fun? Yep, fun is all you need. That's right, all right guys. And have fun creating and don't forget crowns. Markers or color pencils. Bye bye. bye, I'm, bye. I'm leaving out of the room. Bye. <laughs> Happy creating.